this is going to be a haul of all my top favorite things I got in the year of 2023. <music> There are going to be three categories, clothing, home goods, and books. Let's get into it. First item for clothing is this dress that was sent to me by the brand Cider. This is the perfect summer dress. I put it through the wash and it unfortunately shrunk like a good size or two. It's still wearable. It comes like right down to the butt. So I just wear this with these white cotton shorts I have underneath. And you can't even tell there's shorts underneath. It just looks like a part of the dress. Here's like the texture. I love this dress so much. Next up is this shirt from Cider. I don't know if you can see the detail. There's like lace detailing, there's pretty buttons, and it's like cinched at the waist. It's so flattering on, and I just think it's very beautiful. Next up are just these black trousers from the brand Golia. And these ones are just so high quality. They're so thick and so comfortable. They've got belt loops, they've got pockets. Just a staple piece. I wear them with a lot of different stuff. Next up for clothing is this denim skirt from the brand Motel Rocks. It's just a faded black wash. It has a slit in the front. I just like the alternative to jeans, you know. This sweater I really love. It's from the brand Naked, which is a brand I really, really love. It's just your classic cream, like, cable knit turtleneck sweater. It's very traditional. I love how the sleeves just stay straight and wide. I got it in a size large. Okay, these next two sweaters are from the brand Commence, which is also one of my favorite brands. So I got a sweater in two different colors. I first got it in light gray. I'm not the type of person to be like, OMG, you need this thing. Run, don't walk to the store. Like, you have to buy it. I think that type of language is really aggressive and really controlling. But if I had to tell you, run, don't walk to buy an item, it would be these sweaters. It's just a turtleneck sweater. It is so thick and so soft. You can't really tell, but the bottom of it isn't just straight. It like slightly turns down, which is perfect, and it's so flattering. And then I just recently got the dark gray, which I love. I got this in a large as well. These sweaters are perfect, in my opinion. Okay, the next item is definitely my favorite item out of everything I'm going to show. But first, a little backstory. For the past, like, three or four years... I've really wanted to find a great like floor length black pea coat for the fall and winter, but I haven't found one yet. And usually springtime comes around so fast that I don't need it anymore. And when that next fall rolls around, I start looking again and then I don't find it and then the winter's over. And this has just happened year after year. This past fall though, I set out to find the perfect pea coat. I did order one off of Sheen, but it ended up being really short. And I did want one that was wool and higher quality. So I got to Savers, I looked at their coats. There was a couple that seemed good. So I picked them off the rack and then I got to this one coat and I was like, oh yeah, let me put these other ones back. This coat was absolutely perfect. When I say this coat is exactly what I wanted, like there's nothing wrong with it. And it was like $13, I think. It's 70% wool. The brand is Worthington. It's size 12. Let me show you. This has become my winter coat I wear anytime I leave the house. This is an item of clothing that I can and probably will have for the rest of my life. Okay, next up is purses. Look at it. Look at it. I've never been big into shoes or purses. I'm trying to be, though. This purse was sent to me by the brand Tyne. It's spelled T-I-J-N. It is so early 90s, and I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Ugh. Next up, I bought the same purse in three different colors. These were actually my first purchase from Timu. I love the subtle texture. They just have the one large compartment. There's no zipper compartments, no smaller compartments, which is fine for me. So I got it in this black color, this warm toned brown, and then this khaki color. Okay, last for clothing are these shoes I got from Sheen. They're just these black faux leather pointed toe kitten heels. You can really tell I've worn them. I just really loved the shape of them. If anybody knows how to make heels comfortable to walk in, please let me know. I don't really care if the heel is uncomfortable. I just want to be able to actually walk in them without them slipping off my heels every five steps I take. So if anyone knows any gadgets you can use while wearing heels that help them stay on, please let me know. Okay, that was it for clothing. Next, on to home goods. So I have some smaller things I'm able to show on camera, but some of my favorite home finds are too large to bring into here. So I'll insert footage of them. First for home goods are these glasses. I got these from Savers. They were like $3.99. 
for the pair. I really loved the shape and size and I especially liked the glass stain. So far I used one of these for eggnog. Okay, these next things, I don't know what their intended purpose is. They are these wooden squares. I got these at Savers. I just really loved how they looked. I think they were like $2. My first thought was just to style them on a coffee table, put them on a book, or put a candle on them, something like that. Here's some footage of them styled. If you know me, you know I absolutely love wood, and I like squares and sharp edges. In interior design, I don't like circles and roundness. I prefer like squares or rectangles. So these are just wood squares, so they're literally perfect to me. But yes, if you could tell me what these are meant for, please let me know, because I'm curious. Okay, next up is a lamp I got from my living room that I won't be showing on camera, but I will insert footage of it. So in each room of my apartment, I have a large window seat with two windows, and it's just this large space. So for my living room, I really wanted to find an oversized lamp to put in the center just to anchor that space. So I was looking at lamps at Savers, and this was the largest one there, and I took a long time deciding whether to get it or not, and now I'm like, why did I even need to think about it? It was $15 and I was like, you know what? This would be 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace or over 100 from some brand. It came with a great lampshade and I was like, let me just get it. As soon as I got home and put it in, I fell in love. This was over a month ago and I still get giddy when I look at this lamp. I have plans to DIY it because I don't like the white ceramic. I want something darker and I want it to have like a stone effect. So I'm gonna DIY that, like something like this. I'm really excited to do that project. And I do have this lamp. I plan on doing that stone effect to it as well. Next up is another lamp from Savers. As soon as my eyes saw it, I grabbed it and was like, yes, I love this. It was $2.99. And when I got it home and plugged it in, it unfortunately does not work. But that's okay because I still will use it as decor. This is how I styled it. Next is another large item I won't be bringing into this room. And that is my kitchen table. Here's a photo of it. I really wanted a kitchen large enough to fit a table that I could eat at. My last apartment's kitchen was way too small, and it was definitely a priority for me. My kitchen now is on the smaller side, but it definitely has room for the table. Plus, it has zero counter space, so I needed some cooking surfaces. My Pinterest inspo picks were these. I wanted a more like rustic wood table, nothing like glossy or shiny. I wanted a medium wood stain, something with chunkier legs, something a little more substantial. And I did prefer something with wood detailing. So I found the table on Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks. Me and my boyfriend went and got it. The tabletop was like three inches wider. So I dropped it off at my nephew's and he dropped it off for me. So it was like the perfect size that I needed for my space. When we got it into the kitchen, I looked at it and I was like, this is the exact table I was picturing in my head. Literally the picture I imagined that I wanted for my kitchen. The table is great. We use it all the time and I really love it. So yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Ooh, something else I do really love that I got in 2023. It's not finished yet. It's a project and I am still working on it. I'll show a photo. Right now I just have the leaves balanced on the tree. I really wanted like a seven foot tall tree. I like something a little more whimsical, not as dense and like longer branches. I really couldn't find that anywhere or at least like affordable. So I just decided to build my own because I love with all my heart doing something myself and for cheaper. I just went to the park and I actually took three of my nephews to help me. We found the branches that I needed. And then off the sheen, I ordered a couple different leaf options to see what looked good. I think I ended up spending like 40 at most. I don't know how much they were. And then for the pot, I just stole this from my mom's basement. It's like a good size, which I'm also going to do the stone DIY effect to it. All right, I think that's it for home goods. Next on to books. So about a year and a half now, every time I go to Savers, I buy at least one book. Usually it's two or three. Just like coffee table books. A lot of art, history, travel, photography. This one I actually didn't get from Savers and I didn't get in 2023. Or did I? I don't know. This one I got from a dead person. Stole it from them. This one I have styled like so. My savers is magical when it comes to books and me. <laughs> they have a lot of books. They only have one small section of like picture books. It's on the top shelf and there's usually like 15 in total. There's never more than like 20. Just every single time I'm there, there's at least one book that is like straight up my alley. Some topic that I'm 
actually super into or passionate about or love. For example, I'm a big Paul Newman fan. So, you know, when I walk in and I just see this, come on. It's got his boxing, his racing. I love that picture. This photo and this photo are my favorite pictures of him. An incredible find for me. Next book is Rediscovering American Roads. And as you could have guessed, it's photos of American Roads. I love this, Montana. That's so pretty. I love this photo. Great coffee book table. This one I actually have styled upside down with this back photo like this. Another topic I personally have interest in is the old American West. This is John Ford. I love the back of this book. I actually have this styled on my coffee table. This book is not from 2023. I think I got this in 2022. This one I got off of Depop, which I never actually buy anything off of Depop. So this was a special purchase. It's just all of Frida and Diego's art. My favorite piece of hers, let me cover, <laughs> is Henry Ford Hospital. It's about her miscarriage. And then also, oh, here it is. The Two Fridas is also one of my favorites. This is the biggest book I own. It's very heavy and it is aircraft of world war ii i'm surprised my boyfriend didn't propose when i gave this to him because he was over the moon i saved the best two for last this is the american cowboy i personally think that this book cover is perfect and i think it's the best book cover in the world the photo the colors the font everything it's perfect and this one is about the american cowboy <laughs> that's sick just the culture of the American cowboy and how far it's come. I actually style it with one of these. I'll insert footage. Okay, last but not least, A Day in the Life of Italy. This book's pretty big and it's really heavy. Look at this, look at this. Oh, it's so great. That's how it starts out. Yeah, this photo is awesome. That's cool, the fencing. Oh, that's great. This book is just wonderful. I love it. All right, that's it for my favorite items of 2023. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And if someone could tell me what these are meant for, I would really appreciate it. All right, I really hope the mic worked out well. I just got it last night. This is the first time of me using it. My hope for 2024 isn't to buy a bunch of crap that fills some hole, but to find intentional pieces that are special to my personality and that bring me joy and pleasure just by looking at them. And most importantly, things I will keep for a very, very, 